Another one of the topics that we talked about this afternoon that I wanted to, to jump into um, was inspired by a guy that I just started getting into. Actually, I saw him as a comedian long ago, and now I realize that he's got all sorts of YouTube videos and a Facebook presence that's really awesome. His name is Kyle Cease, uh, C-E-A-S-E. And he made this post about... Um, Kind of being critical of people who who pigeonhole themselves by the way they talk. Like when you say things like, um, hey, how's it going? You oh, I got fired. Well, that's a pretty damning statement about your now. You got fired. Now, you know, if you can change your story, it's just another way of saying what we talk about a lot here, that changes a lot. So are you I got fired means I'm a guy who gets fired, as opposed to saying, Oh, I'm, you know what? I'm in the, I'm in the beginning of an adventure. I'm, I'm in the middle of an adventure. Who knows how it's going to turn out? I, I'm, I, I got a bunch of ideas. I got whatever. But it's just telling that story and being aware of how you say, like, when, one thing I, I practice saying is when people say, like, I used to often anchor myself to limitations. I'd say, oh, I'm not good at that. Now I try to say... I've had challenges with that in the past so that it frees me up to a change. Same is true with, oh, I'm having a bad day. My day has been had, had some challenges so far. Or whatever the case is, being aware of, of establishing the direction and the story that you're in, where it's been and where it's going. And it made me realize that a huge part of, of being able to get happy is, a, is getting in control of momentum. Someone posted a, a, a you know, inspirational quote about you know, deciding to be happy, and someone in the comments was like, it's not that easy. You know, you, there's all these factors to deciding if you're happy. You, know, you, you can't just, it's uh, the biology, and there's the environmental, and this and this, and, you know, and, and I realized that a huge part of deciding you're going to be happy is breaking free of the story of your now, you know, to, if, if you had total, you know, memento style amnesia, you could just forget whatever the reasons are that you're not happy and just say, oh, I guess, you know what, I am going to decide to be happy. It's only when we attach ourselves to this, this history, this story. And so being able to, being, getting, managing uh, an, a, a skill set around momentum, meaning if you're in a direction that isn't good, isn't feeling good, being able to go, stop, change direction, go, like a sprinter, start, you know, go, and, and quickly go into a direction, a new story. Oh, man, I'm, I'm sad about this. Okay, stop. I'm looking forward to a yoga class or whatever the thing is. And, and I say manage and master it because you also want to be able to go, Man, I've just been in a good mood all day. Good, ride it, keep it going, keep it going. Whatever this is, keep it going. Keep the momentum going so that nothing can knock you off of it. And then as soon as, if, but your, if your track is going in a bad place, stop. And trying to figure out the things that can help you do that. I made, if, 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 you, if you have stuff in your life, um, for example, uh, I mentioned yoga. That's one of the things that I've been noticing lately, that if I can get myself to a yoga class, it will knock me out of whatever groove or momentum that I have and, and kind of start me fresh. I think a lot of people have different things that they do for that. Just getting outside, getting into the garden, hanging out with their kids or their pets. Um, and just knowing that you have that ability, even though so much of our training is to be kind of allegiance to the grooves, to the story that we have for ourselves. Give yourself permission to change on a dime. Give yourself permission to, to change your identity, to change your story, to change whatever it is. The, we are far less anchored to the way things are than we think. In fact, the way things are is far less absolute than we think. It's a framework. It's a story that we all agree on, or some of us agree on. And so it's not working for you. Mm -hmm. 
Castle Sky says she takes walks or hoop. That's I, I know a lot of people that have those types of things. So flow exercises or, uh, um, you know, poi or hooping or juggling or something that gets you out of into motion and body and flow. Music is a great one too. And, and Castle Sky said music helps if it's happy. That's something that I've become, in, at some point in the last 10 years, I realized that the soundtrack makes a huge difference. And so if you love, you know, the Smiths um, and Joy Division, you should think about how much you want to impose that vibe into your daily life because it will affect your, your, your thinking. So, you know, put on the, you know, Bobby McFerrin or, or whatever that, that actually will kind of get, put a jazz in your step and appreciation or, because as, as, as much as it might feel good to have that emotional uh, of a sad song or a, I miss you so much love song, do you, you're choosing that. Do you, are you sure you want it? If you, if you do, great. Just don't allow yourself to be passively taken to places that are unpleasant if you don't want to be there. Um, yes.